All right. Welcome back to another episode of the Perfect 10 podcast presented by Boot Crew Media. I'm one half of your host today. I'm Daniel Dees. Alongside me as always, Mr. Jacob Erdy. Yeah. All right. This episode is brought to you by the Kelly Gibson Foundation. The Kelly Gibson Foundation is a community-driven nonprofit organization that focuses on supporting first responders, military initiatives, and children's athletic programming through golf in the greater New Orleans area and the Gulf Coast region. For more information, go to www.kellygibsonfoundation.org. Again, that website is www.kellygibsonfoundation.org. Yep. Gotta and, check it out. Yep. And today we are doing. Wait, dude, you don't. Uh, that's right. I'm, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. You have a, do you have a trivia question ready then? Yes, I do actually. Okay, well, so. Let me start off with a trivia question. Fire it off, dude. Because in honor of today's episode, what is the most searched term on Pornhub for 2021? <laughs> for 2021? Uh, is it like something obvious, like MILF or something? That came in third. <laughs> uh, stepsister. <laughs> Didn't even make the top. I don't know, dude. Uh, like, that's like the most stereotypical. Uh, uh, big tits. I don't know. What's number one, dude? Hentai. What? Like the Japanese cartoon one? Like I, anime? I don't even know what that is, dude. We know somebody who knows that. That's, that's somebody's guilty pleasure. Okay. Yeah, so, hey, today... Top 10 guilty pleasures. Yeah, that's not made. That did not make my list. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, yeah, guilty pleasures. So my like as far as the order of the ranking was a little tough. It's it's almost like the frequency that this thing is my guilty pleasure slash the amount that I enjoy it. Right. So it's kind of hard to narrow down exactly what order to put it in. Like the ones, it was hard to rank in that sense. But it's just the one I find the most pleasure in. So my number one is absolutely not the one I find the most pleasure in. But it's the one you're most guilty for? Yes. See, I did the most pleasure I find out of guilt. So my top three are most pleasure, most pleasure, most guilty. Okay. I mean, it's fine. Because it is a guilty pleasure. It is. Um, do you have any honorable dishonorables? No dishonorables, but I do have some honorables. My honorable, one of my honorable is setting players I hate injury rating to zero on Madden and purposely injuring them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I mean <laughs> I've done that since I was since Madden two thousand three, and I do it every year. So it's a tradi tradition at this point. Oh yeah, just gotta keep it rolling. I don't Sp speaking of traditions, I'm pretty deep in on this. So Here we go, fine, baby. <laughs> Gonna be a good one. <laughs> And my other one is correctly assuming a driver's gender, race, and age, <clears throat> especially when they're when they like fail at parallel parking. That's like the easiest one. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's like a young white girl. Oh yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> obviously, I've only seen that happen twice that they've actually nailed it. And like being a frequent visitor of downtown Hammond, I've seen them fail way more often than not. Yeah, um, I mean, it's hard not to envision that stereotype like it just is what it is every time you pull by one it's like they wiggled in and out like four different times and like, they just give up they're not figuring it out and they, Either they give up the red light Either they give up or they park all ratchet <laughs> yeah exactly. or if i see somebody driving down the interstate in a bmw and like they're like watch yourself dude i'm just saying stereotypes exist for a reason and they're like going through lanes without hitting their blinker yeah okay that's a white thing. guy our age but yeah because they the bimmers drive so smooth dude you don't need blinkers <laughs> If you say so, so that's my those the are ultimate my, driving machine, dude. Yeah, my only honorable because, like, again, this is one of those lists that could just go on and on. But this is like one thing that barely didn't make the list, so I had to put in the honorable. I got shower beer. That's not a guilty pleasure. That's just pleasure. Okay, well, I mean, who's guilty? Who has? Who's who's drinking a beer in the shower? I mean, I shouldn't be doing this right now. I mean, I think a lot of people that are drinking shower beers. <laughs> like, I don't really need this one, but I want it. It's just so nice, a cold beer going down your throat. Hot, steamy shower. Yeah, it's a, it's a little miniature spa day, dude. Dude, it's, it's the best. Uh, so anyway, all right, so top 10. Oh, at Target, they got like these little suction 
cups that you could put on your uh, shower just for your, your you thing. ain't got to tell me dude i have one in my shower <laughs> do you really yeah nice and it's actually one made where it's like a wire like a bent wire one to where you can put any can in it or you can slide a wine glass into it oh, i'll talk about say a wine bottle if you're drinking a bottle of wine no, in but shower, it fits, you have problems if it fits wine glasses or beer cans or glasses all right. I can't imagine drinking wine in the shower, though. It's not bad from time to time. I can't picture guilty myself pleasure, there. dude. I mean, that okay, that's that's, that's a guilt. That's a oh, guilty okay, pleasure. But a shower beer is not. It's not shower okay. beer is normal behavior. If you say so, dude. So my number ten spot. All right, let's hear. It. Oh wait, before we get into that, um, don't forget, go hit all the likes, subscribes, five stars. Also on uh Spotify now, you can give us five stars. Don't even act like you can't because I know you can. Dude, I mean, come on, guy. Just have <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was shout out last episode. Shout uh, it out. Uh, Just keep it going. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. Uh, this guy, ignore it and go on. I don't even know where I was at, but we're in the 10 spot. Number 10 spot, I got dark chocolate. Or so, just far, cho- your, so far, your list is like white woman. Or just chocolate in general. I love uh, dude, chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's balling. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's not good for you. It's better than regular chocolate. Okay, see, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'd like to convince myself of that too. It's like, <laughs> well, at least it's healthy. It ain't healthy. It's better for your heart than regular chocolate. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying it's better for you than eating spoons full of sugar? Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Literally anything is. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Whatever well, makes you sleep better. So I got dark chocolate because I also like to convince myself this is healthy. Yeah. Total lie. <laughs> That's a 10 spot. <clears throat> My number nine spot. Wine in the shower, dark chocolate. Dude, yeah. You'll be PMSing before long. Dude, I mean, wine and dark chocolate is is amazing. Hey, man, live your truth. Uh, so my number nine spot. Uh, I got wearing out a catchy song. I love wearing out a catchy Dude, song. That's a good. Whenever pick. I hear that's a great. Whenever, you redeemed yourself. Whenever I hear a new song that's like I love, like dude, I will then just listen to it on repeat until you like. I can't don't stand want, it. I can't even hear this thing again. <laughs> like I love that. I hear a good a, a new song. Like oh, I cannot wait to ruin this for myself. But all the way up to the end, you enjoy every minute of it. Yeah, and then it's like. Uh, I'm tired of this song. Why is this on my phone still? All of a sudden. <laughs> it happens. I love it. I love doing that. I'm with you. I do too. And it's it's not good. Yeah. Do it in moderation. You know? Uh, so that's my number nine. My number eight spot. Um, Anybody that was with us in a lot of the time during Studio 2.0, uh, you and I, were we experienced some of this together. I got watching hours of good, good golf matches on YouTube that I've already seen. I love watching repeat, like old episodes of sports, but like, like old fights. I would watch an old fight, but for some reason, I think it's because it's mine. Like I put it on in the background and it's mindless. Like, I guess I, I mean, I used to do it with like scrubs or with Seinfeld or with friends. Like that was my mindless TV. But like for the past year, any like good, good golf match, like any matches or, or challenges they play. I just throw it on the, I throw on my YouTube. It's like automatically suggested under the first. So it's the first thing I click on, boom, and just let it run. I like that pick because I, I was the same way. With like when I had UFC Fight Pass, yeah. Like I would back when it was good, I would just throw on random fights and let it just ride while I studied. And then I realized like I've been watching like three hours worth of fights and not study a single thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. You put it on with the intention of like, okay, this is yeah, gonna be background it, noise. Good background noise. I've seen it before. I won't be. And then so, you don't get anything. Done. I won't. I won't like immerse myself in it. And then I did it. Yeah. No. It. it yeah. Exactly. It so happens. that's that's why it's a guilty pleasure because like I put it on with the intention of getting other things done and just becomes a, its own form of procrastination. Yes, I'm with you on that. So that's my ten nine eight. All right, my number ten. Okay, my number ten is pretty tame. Nine through one, I'm pretty much telling on myself. Fair. All right. So my number 10, I got watching Big Bang Theory on repeat. I think that's like the perfect background noise. Pretty so, much what you just said. Yeah, so yeah. Just a different version of the same thing. Yeah. It's not, is it the best sitcom? No. Is it the funniest sitcom? No. But for some reason, it passes the time better than sitcoms I actually love, like Seinfeld, Curb Your Enthusiasm, 
Um, Brooklyn Nine Nine is a great background racket. Try Brooklyn Nine Nine. Couldn't do it. It's it takes a minute to get into it, but it's pretty good. Like Parks and Rec, I love it, but I can't have that on his background noise because I'll watch the whole damn thing. Eh. But Big Bang Theory, I could just lay that bitch on. I could do stuff around the house, or I can watch so, it. So that's kind of like Seinfeld. Like if it's on, I'm watching it. Yeah. Even I, even though I've seen it so many times. Yeah, it's the perfect sitcom. Yeah, I know. I feel. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's got to be the right recipe. Yeah. So that's my number ten. Number nine, I love messing with strangers while I drive. Like if I'm, I, I like, I don't really do this much anymore. That's why it's in my number nine spot. But I love like if I'm in a parking lot and I like roll past somebody, I like honk the horn at them and I'll wave <laughs> the other direction. Okay. Um, I thought you were going to go more along the lines of like, or just slowly swerve into them. See, I thought you were going to say something like the reverse road rage where like, whenever you see somebody like in your rear view, swerving up on your back on your ass in, and then you just start weaving in front of them to, to make them. Oh no, I don't do that shit. Piss them off even more. No, no. I like being in the car and them out of the, out of the car. Okay. Okay. But yeah. Honk at the horn, wave in that direction. That's one of my favorite. Okay. Or just rolling down like your window. So you're the one attacking innocent, innocent bystanders. Pretty much. Or sometimes I'll roll down the window, tell like this white girl, hey, go back to Mexico. It's just, they're like, what? So you like confusing people. Yeah, I just love confusing Fair. People. Okay, that is fun. Number eight's kind of relatable. Uh, have not done this in a long time. I usually do it to people I know I can get away with it from. So I don't do it to like people I'm close with because they'll call my ass out on it. If it's like a coworker or an old coworker or a classmate. Last time I did this, I was in college. I was to a classmate. We all decided, hey, let's give each other gifts. So what I do, I give gift cards I know that don't work, that I already used up. Oh, that's terrible, dude. <laughs> You're just harassing people with your guilty pleasures, dude. Guilty? <laughs> so first off, that means you have to have held on to these gift cards after you used them. Oh, up. dude. Like, I know for a fact. That, you keep them for that purpose? Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to have to use this later. Or you keep it in your wallet in case you had a break in somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> But then you just gift it to somebody. That, yeah, like the last time I did it. used gift card. Dude, that is absurd. It was like a $50 AMC gift card. I knew there was nothing left on it. <laughs> I knew, we're fixing to all graduate anyway, so we gave each other gifts. So I just gave it to them <laughs> and then immediately blocked them on Facebook. I mean, dude, that's, that's this is more of, I mean, I don't even know what that would be called, but I guess. A confession, I, I guess. I guess it is a guilty pleasure. But dude. Nah, but. It, that wasn't the only time I've done it, though. I, I like I've given clearly, out, clearly I'll, you've like, done it more than once. Olive Garden gift cards to one of my old coworkers, <laughs> like a twenty five dollar Olive Garden gift card. I know I used the hub. I just give it to them. Oh, dude. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, I know this will be brought up when I go to hell, and they're like, "This is what you've done." I'm like, "Yeah, I know. That's fair. That's I know why I'm here." <laughs> I didn't see any of these kind of picks coming, but okay, there we know? go. So that's my ten nine eight. All right. <laughs> So my seven spot <clears throat> and this one, it's a bit of privilege, but it's also because I work a bit. I mean, I don't exactly just work for myself because, you know, it is my parents company that I run basically. Yeah. So my number seven is just living on my own schedule in general. That's a good guilty pleasure. <laughs> like people will think you're an asshole for saying that, but it, I just did. Like there's a, parent out there listening right now oh must be nice yeah but i mean i successful like i'm i'm good at it though hey so like it's not like i'm terrible it's not like I'm, I'm not like no i'm not some asshole that's just slacking you know i'm not like yeah. dragging this business down right but like you're pretty successful at it so you know i work efficiently and hey if i you know if i don't get there if i get there late then i work late it's not mm -hmm. like i'm like not getting stuff done Right. You're, you're productive with your time. And on the weekends, like I'll have every intention going into the weekend of like, okay, Saturday, I'm gonna go get some work knocked out. I'm gonna go clean the boat. I'm gonna go work on like my pro like I have projects going on all the time on my own. And then, you know, Saturday night we'll go out. I'll wake up Sunday. We'll go on the river, but you know, come Friday night, I get trashed and then I wake up at like noon Saturday. It's like, ah, eh, that work I was going to go get done. I'll handle it next week. You know? Yeah. Just live on my own schedule. You know, you're putting your hours in and don't get me wrong. They're like, I am terribly productive during the week, but I am just ultimately doing it when I want to do it. So that's just my, that's my guilty pleasure. Yeah. I like that. That's a good pick. Um, that's my seven spot. My number six spot, um, kind of a segue, 
I got building myself whatever I want. Yeah. I wish I had that ability. I mean, I've been building things my whole life. So like, I mean, you walk around the apartment. I mean, I built, I built this table. I built, I built this stool. Dude, you need to build a new stool. Like this is, this shit's hurting me. <laughs> that stool is more comfortable, dude. Ain't no it's just, there's no cushion. We need, cu- we need cushion. We did. That'd be our next investment. I built the bar cart. I built the build inter- a cushion entertainment center. I built the, the, you know, the record player stand and that, you know, I just, I just build myself anything I want. Um, and that's kind of a guilty pleasure. It's like, I know like not everybody has that, uh, avenue or that opportunity yeah i mean i built kids yeah i've successfully avoided building any children hey uh, <laughs> that you know of uh i'm pretty sure uh but yeah so six bot i got building myself anything i want i like that all right my number seven i like when my kids are playing in the room i love randomly walking up to them like power bombing them on the bed and shit choke slam <laughs> Stone Cold Stunner, RKO, you name it. Yeah, they're very, they're, they got them flexible bones still. You can just but mostly power. I like slam I, them down. Especially my son. My son has like a big head, so he's kind of top heavy. So he, like he goes pretty far with the power bomb. <laughs> it's like launching a lawn dart. I love doing power bombs to my son. Like he'll just be playing. I just walk up behind them. I just whoop, bam. <laughs> Scares the shit out of him most times. Okay. So yeah. Just All, right. <laughs> All right. I don't know if. Uh... Just keep him in check. Yeah, I mean, fair. Just randomly power bombing my kids. He stays ready. Yep. All right, number six. I love going on Instagram, like looking at these influencers and guessing the price of their OnlyFans. We've been over this before. We have. And so I, I, I don't, love doing it. I don't know what episode it was. That was one of the early, early episodes. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um. But yeah, just going through an Instagram. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I can find one. See. How do you? I, 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 I'll be honest. I've never even clicked on any OnlyFans. I don't even know. How do you go check how much it costs? Is it, is it, is, I guess you you just click on it. It, it says like you, the first page. Like yeah, it's like subscribe. It's subscribe. subscribe for like eight ninety nine or whatever. We're gonna find one. Hold on. Um. Oh wait, look up the that one. Which one? Uh, ah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't. I hopefully I don't think no. I don't think they can. <laughs> I don't think they can hear that. On uh. It's it's one that's been I, th- I don't know if we referenced it on here before or not. All right, but there there's a there is a link there, isn't it? Yep. How much do you think? I bet it's like I bet it's twelve ninety nine. I don't know. I don't know what's a regular only fan only fans price. I feel like it's somewhere between five and twenty bucks. Are you sad? What, and she's much? like she's like she's like a knockoff Megan Fox. So I would think like twelve thirteen bucks. Only fans price. Oh, dude, people are getting rowdy out still. Is it affordable? <laughs> there. <laughs> Wait, three months? So seven, bu- seven bucks a month. Look at that top price above it. Free for 15 days. Yeah. But then it's 21 bucks for three months. Yeah. So seven a month. Okay. So I was off. Wait, no, I said somewhere between five and 20, or did I say between? Something like that. But yeah, that's what I like to do. Okay. It's fun. It's a fun little game. Like how much? How much do these girls value themselves? <laughs> drink, drink, drink. <sighs> yep. Yeah, hey, cheers, brother. <sighs> um, I feel like it's a numbers game too, though, because I feel like if you said there's got to be some analytics that say if you set it below X amount of dollars, like three times more people are likely to pay for it opposed if you set it twice as high. Right. So statistically speaking, you'll make more if it's cost less. Something like that. I think honestly, it's got to become one of those things that are uh, similar to a lot of subscription services where if it's so cheap, you don't even think to go cancel it. So it's like a, it's just like a gym membership. We talked about a couple episodes. Like if you go pay $10 a month to plan of fitness, right? If you, once you sign up and you don't feel like going anymore, you have to physically go there to cancel it. And you're like, ah, oh, it's only 10 bucks a month. Who cares? So you keep paying it twice as long as you would have had it cost three times as much. Yeah. So I feel like OnlyFans was bound to work off that same type setup where they're banking on a lot of people subscribing to some and then not even using or looking at it, but just paying for it because they don't even think to go cancel it. Right. Smart business plan, though. I mean, it's fun. 
I mean, hey, get you, get yourself out there. I might go check out that free for 15. <laughs> 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 Just that one. Now everybody's going to be texting me. Who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I thought we should have said it just to get them like some free clout. But I'm not going to. No. All right. We're not. That was your what? That was my number six. Okay. So my number five spot. Also, go uh, pop off the drink. Um, my number five spot. This one, it's kind of a trash pick because it's too broad. But at the same time, I feel like it, it could be everybody's number one. I got treating myself too too often. Yep. As if as if I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody, you know, that hash, you know, like quote unquote treat yourself, right? right? I mean, all the time I'd be like, you know what? I got a lot. I got I've been stressed out. I got a lot going on. I've been Just let me treat myself. I've been busy. I've been working so hard. I deserve some treat for myself. Do it. Why not? Well, when you do it terribly often, <laughs> you're just blowing money at some point. There you go. I mean, hey, but the uh, balance a budget, get yourself some walk around money. Hey, dude, there ain't no budget involved when you're treating yourself. There should be. Should be. Sure. <laughs> should be a lot of things. Right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, my five spot is treating myself too much. <laughs> Uh, I mean, tough. My number four spot. All right. So we've also been over this before, but so my four, three, two, one is, I mean, I enjoy all of them so much. Let's hear it. <laughs> my four spot though. Guilty pleasure is raising canes on a hungover Saturday morning. Say it one more time. Raising canes on a hungover Saturday morning. I know it's not good for me, but for some, like, I, I like to convince myself that greasy food is good for you when you're hungover. Yeah. Like back when Waffle House had that turkey melt. But like, I try to avoid fast food as much as possible. Dude, I'm about to pat McAfee this bitch. I got to stand up. <laughs> this stool's just not comfortable. Okay, dude. Throw it out the way, bro. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I mean, good. I mean, off the rails here, but good reference though, because I've wondered all this time. Whatever mic he uses, it don't matter if he's two inches from it or five feet from it. You can still hear what he's saying. Right. The like, he has a great mic. It's definitely a condenser mic of some sort, but it's like a terribly expensive one. We gotta find out. Treat ourselves. There we go. Yeah. Good segue. Good segue. Great segue. I'll be honest with you. During this, the life of this podcast, I've treated myself or ourselves to a lot of like the Roadcaster Pro. Dude. Didn't have to upgrade this much. But we're thankful for it's it. A, it is a jewel. Everybody's thankful for it. Dude, my ass cheeks are asleep. Yeah, no, I've, dude, it's the hardwood seats. <laughs> Actually, I need to treat our treat ourselves to some cushions. I'm just going to bring like a stadium cushion, go to Academy and buy yeah, those. Yeah, like a seat like with the back? Yeah. Like hook them up somehow to where we lean back and we yeah. don't bust our ass. Just like you do on a bench seat. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so that is my five spot. My, oh, no, that was my five four. Raising Canes is that on a hungover Saturday. All right. My number. <sighs> my number five. I got Twitter burner accounts. Oh, you have? You have Twitter? Right? Dude, I got three burner accounts. <laughs> <laughs> dude, of course you do, dude. I should have known that. One to harass athletes, one to harass celebrities, and another one to harass like politicians and shit. I mean, that's a lot, dude. And like, I just, it's not like I'm trying to argue with them. I'm just talking shit. So that is baiting them into an argument. <laughs> no, 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 Like they could try to, like, I got blocked by a bunch of people. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, of course, if you're just talking trash on a burner account, I would expect them to block you. Like the most notable person who's blocked my burner account is probably Tyree Kill. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> uh. I mean, that's what it is. It was after they lost to the Bucks in the Super Bowl. I mean, I haven't used my burner account probably since Christmas. I just haven't thought so of you're, you're not like Kevin Durant. You're not using it every day. Oh, no, no. I'm not using this bitch every day. Like, I'm, if I see an athlete or someone famous say something dumb on Twitter, I'm, I'm switching that burner account and I'm like going hard at them. Okay. I mean, yeah, sure. I see what you're saying. That does like kind of keep things interesting. Dude, did, did that sound weird? 
is this mic dripping out in your ears right now or is it just me just you i don't hear anything okay well um it does keep <laughs> it does keep social media more fun though it does i love it to have multiple angles even though it's it's all you but it's that way know. it's that way like maybe an employer can't be like what'd you say look what you said okay all, i'm not saying i'm not also saying valid point i'm you, not saying anything that will get me fired i'm not saying that but even so it wouldn't matter they wouldn't know it's you right right there's no way tracy told me uh i mean honestly I, I mean i can't hate on you right nobody it's just like my little vent it's, it's like a my, guilty pleasure yeah that's yeah. exactly what it is yeah, yeah. all right Fair. so so top threes so top threes before we're gonna top threes. Oh, no, 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 no. that was number five uh, my number four I love seeing my exes slash girls who curve me fail in life. Okay. Dude. I didn't think of that, but I guess, I guess technically I, I, it like, is a guilty pleasure. I'm usually a live and let live guy. We didn't work out. That sucks. But it's just the ones that kind of <laughs> piss me off. Yeah. I mean, I, feel I you. see you gain a couple pounds. Hell yeah. Not, I'll be honest with you. Nothing makes me. I see I'm you not going to say happy. It's, I see it, you get cheated on. <laughs> hey. It, it doesn't make me happy. But there is some pleasure in when I see some girl that like, I, hell no, it makes me happy as that hell. I used dude. to try to holler at, they get knocked up and they gain about 50, 60 pounds through pregnancy and never lose it. It's like, oh, I'm glad I didn't stick with that dude, one. Yep, yep, Ooh. yep. It's like your dodge. It's like I love watching myself dodge bullets. <laughs> I love watching yeah, myself <laughs> dodge every bullet. <laughs> that, is, that is fair. Oh, uh, but uh, yeah. Which hey, look, again, we love women. We do, but I get we look, don't like we don't love the ones that that lost, did us dirty exactly. And there's nothing, not saying all women, but most women, there's nothing that they like more than the same thing happening to us. Oh, for sure, they love seeing us get get like the shit thrown at us, and they love seeing other shit happen to other women too. Facts, fair. Uh, but no, dude, I didn't think about that at all. But that is a solid one, dude. Dude, I'll, I cannot. I <laughs> do the way you, you say. Yeah, the, uh, there's nothing I love more than watching my like one past self dodge bullets. Like I saw one girl that curved me way back in the day. Like they had to hold their daughter back in first grade. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Glad we didn't have them dumb kids. <laughs> right, my <laughs> kids are smart. Your kids are a bunch of dumb dumbs. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think about that at all. But that is a solid pick. <laughs> so that was your five four yes all right so before we get into top threes don't forget go hit the five stars subscribe boot crew media youtube instagram twitter uh the perfect 10 all you know all the do stuff. it you know what to do otherwise i'm gonna love it when bad shit happens to you right yeah like for hey, you curving us yeah you're gonna get audited and i'm just gonna laugh also, real quick, the giveaways again i'm gonna say Happy i'm gonna text i'm gonna try see every time i do this spiel about the giveaways I'm sure you, if you people are listening, I don't, if you should be watching for yeah. one. But again, whenever I eventually get all these uploaded, <laughs> but I try to nail it within like a minute. It's tough. So, <clears throat> all right. So the giveaways. Yes. Um, three giveaways, three rules. Rule number one: your answer has to be given on Boot Crew Media's YouTube page on one of our videos, obviously, so we see it. Two: you have to say exactly what the things are. Three, you only get one guess at each thing. The three giveaways. One, this one right here. This one's 50 bucks. Say what this is or where it's from. Yep. The other easy. one is being shown. Uh, like in this area. Not where my hand is. Talking about you can see it. It's not like behind the camera. Oh, okay. If you're watching, like, that's what I meant. The other one. Yeah. So the other one, $100 giveaway. There's one thing in the studio. I Time's mean, a ticking. August 1st is coming. Obviously, it's got to be within this view. There's there's something in, in the studio. Um, You have to say exactly what it is. $100 giveaway. Yeah. We've mentioned it in about 8, 70% of episodes. August 1st is on a Monday. We've mentioned it exactly, specifically, two to three times. Yep. Um, The third one, five ham and hats. Um, I've worn, one was in. I'm not even, I can't say the numbers. I don't think that's, that's uh, too, they would have to go back and watch all of them. But still, there's five Hammond hats that I've worn or Hammond establishments. Um, that's another hundred dollar giveaway. You just got to name what each Hammond place is. And the already from everyone doesn't count because that's not a place. It's a staple. Yeah. It's an, it's an establishment. Um, going to so, be an establishment. Yeah, eventually, but not yet. So technically we're getting there. Right. So that's the, uh, that's the giveaways and uh, what top threes, right? Top threes. My number three spot. Guilty pleasure. End of the first quarter. Pelicans 30. 
Sons 28. Yes. Let's go. Fuck the Sons. So my number three spot, I just took a sip. My number three spot, guilty pleasure, I got house drinks. Nothing I love more than sipping drinks at the crib. And it's not good. It's not good for you. That's just something you make and you get a sip on the couch and it's free. So free ish. You pay for the stuff, but you're not going to a bar. Right. right. Well, but I mean, whether it be like a glass of whiskey while I work, like work on paperwork or whatever, do brainstorming or whatever, or a glass of wine while I'm cooking or, you know, a couple of drinks while we're recording the pod, just house drinks. I just enjoy it. Right. And not the best for you. Not at all. Cause you giving yourself like triple or quadruple shots. No, dude, triple. I mean, tri- double, somewhere between double and triple. I, I count it every time. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an eight to nine count. Okay, almost a triple. If you if you're using a pour, it would be a heavy double. Yeah, because of a fast nine count. Okay. Um, but yeah, I got house drinks in the three spot just because it's, it's just by definition is it it is a guilty pleasure. I and, like it, and um. It's one of my favorite things, honestly. You know? <laughs> when I get home from work, you got to pour one up. Just relax. Oh, hell kick, yeah. kick back. Why not? Sure. If I could smoke gars inside, I would. What's stopping? Uh, I don't own the place. Fair. Fair. All I, could, right. I could open the window, though, I guess. Yeah, just drop ashes. Hang out. Hang out the window. <laughs> drop ashes on the people sitting yeah, exactly, outside. Exactly, yeah. That'd be hilarious. That would be. All right. That was your number three? Yep. My number three is very specific to my field of work. I'm sure Mr. Coach Ben would could relate. If he says he hasn't done this, I'd be absolutely shocked. As an educator, one of my guilty pleasures is crop dusting students. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Especially, students? Yeah, students, plural. Just, yep. <clears throat> it's best when it's a bad kid. And you do it right. right by them, and you just quickly walk away. And you blame it on them? Do you blame it on them? Oh, absolutely. You're like, oh, what does that smell? Dude? No, I, no, no, I let the other kids smell it first. I'm like, dude, what are you doing over there? Why, why, why are you cutting up over there? Dude, I mean, that is hilarious to blame it on them. I, I mean, I didn't think about that but at what all. What I've done recently, I'll go into another teacher's classroom, give them something, and like air Crop it out. their room? Yeah, just walk out. That's, that's. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Like, I love doing it, and I can hear them from Oh, who did that? That's next level stuff. You're crop dusting somebody else's class, dude. I mean, I never, never once got blamed for it. <laughs> you would think they'd pick up on it at some point. I don't do it. Somehow, it's, it's not, it always smells like ass in here <laughs> after <laughs> these <laughs> leaves. <laughs> it's not like an everyday thing. You got to be tactic. Obviously, you got to spread it out. Yeah. Like, I'll probably crop dust a student like once every three, four weeks. What you do is you you act like you smell it right before you walk out and you hit whoever that is on the corner. Like, oh, man, it stinks in this corner. Right. And then you peace out, and then one everybody blames it on that person. One day I'm just going to cut a nasty one. I'm like, y'all smell popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> and so everybody's like trying to soak it in. <laughs> right. Trying to soak it in, and then they uh, then they catch the, <laughs> you know, yeah. the crop. All teachers do it. Every teacher I've talked <laughs> sure to said do. it. Yeah. Every teacher I've talked to said they've done it. So that was your three? That was my number three. My number two spot. This one is probably the one I'm, other than house drinks, honestly, I'm probably more, I'm more guilty of the house drinks, but I feel more guilty about the two spot. And that's, <clears throat> which I'm trying hard to cut back on, is eating a couple cookies after dinner. Cookies? Yeah. Because I, I keep, I'm pretty much so again, this is all my thought. Right, so I grew up in a family where we love to eat. Okay. I love eating. No wrong in that. But I put it on myself, my self-discipline on myself a long time ago to where, like, hey, I'm not gonna, I gotta, I gotta stay in shape. I have to. But my thing was always, as long as you don't keep snacks in the house, you won't eat them. I gotta have my snacks. If they're not there, you can't eat them. Yeah, have my snacks. As the easiest way to stick to a diet. Or stay disciplined is just do not buy the snacks. Don't do it. But guilty pleasure. I like to buy just a regular bag of of uh chips ahoy. That's and, your go-to. And eat two or three after dinner. I like, like the toll house cookie dough, like the break and bake. Yeah, I mean, there's so many good. I mean, I, ideally I just keep grandma cookies. But it, it, it I mean, I'll let, I'll ask, dude, I'll get them huge cookies we, at the we, gas station. Dude. We, we, I don't know who even knows who cooks them. The ones that are wrapped in saran wrap. 
those huge chocolate yeah. chip cookies. Hey, love them, dude. You want a great chocolate chip cookie? Get the chocolate chip cookie from Jimmy John's. Yeah, I know. I love all these cookies. That's what I'm saying, though. I at least limit myself. Bad cookies are your problem. I at least limit myself to just a couple. They're small, you know. Um, but I'll there's so, you know I eat something nice for dinner and then just that nice little sweet treat afterward. Yeah, I just gotta treat myself. It's so hard. It's it is. It's, I mean, just wean yourself off of it. Like eat one cookie and then switch from cookies to like a trash cookie, like Fig Newtons. <clears throat> That'll break you of it. You think? <laughs> I wasn't even doing it months ago. <laughs> now all of a sudden, how did I get where I am now? <laughs> you know. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, eating a couple of cookies after dinner is just because it. Next time you have to store, just don't, skip it. Don't buy them. Don't go down that aisle. It's so hard, dude. Yeah, especially since not you're to have at snacks at the crib, dude. It's like I need to figure out a healthier snack, but then I'm just gonna eat more of something that's less like or something. I'm gonna eat more of something that's more healthy. So then ultimately it balances out to be the same thing regardless. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, so going in my number two. One of my favorite guilty pleasures, that's why it's my number two, is going to the movies by myself. Okay. Like, I just I just sit in the seat, dark room, I shut the phone off, I turn my brain off, and I'll watch a trash movie. Just lose myself in a movie by myself. I don't have to talk to anybody sitting next to me like, what do you think of this part? Or, hey, look at that preview. That movie looks awesome. Nope, just me by myself. Just me in Hollywood in that one moment. I like that. Well, I mean... I mean, I live by myself, so I'll, every every movie's a movie by yourself, then. Yeah, so I'll do movie night, and I'll leave it. I'll like, you know, peek behind the curtain, and depending on what the movie is, I'll try to like get in the right mindset, you know. Oh, one of our our listeners, whether it's gonna be a sad movie or a comedy or a drama or a thriller, you know, like I, I got sp- a good movie recommendation for you. Okay, it's on Peacock. Peacock's free. Download it. Go watch Velasa Pastor. No. Do it. Is that something from Terrible Movie Tuesday? I feel like we, we've will. been over this. It will definitely you be. You have brought up Velasa Pastor before. I During have? Some episode I mentioned how we used to do Terrible Movie Tuesday. Velasa Pastor, do it. You brought it up. Do it. Okay. It is Tuesday, but I'm watching the game after this. Well, yeah, I'm not right now, dude. But it, it's a comedy, I'm assuming. Yes. Has to be. It's a sad. I've never seen it. It's like a. You've never seen it? No, why would I want to watch that? Okay, exactly. I don't purposely watch shit movies. I do. Like, if I know the movie's like, it'll be like a five or a six, I'll go watch it. It's, if I have a feeling it's going to be a below a five, I'm not, I'm not going to bother. I will say this, though. It's hard to do Terrible Movie Tuesday by yourself. It's way more fun with somebody. Yeah. Because you can both be like, this movie is terrible. <laughs> well, the- you both, it's an, ex- it's honestly, it's an experience. <laughs> There's one on HBO Max that's my favorite terrible movie ever. It's called Rubber. It's about a serial killer tire. Okay. So it's like Sharknado, kind of. But better, but worse. It's a tire that's just running all over the place, killing people. Yeah. That's awesome. People stare at the tire and their heads blow up. I got to add that to the list of terrible movies. Dude, when I tell it, that's like the goat terrible movie. But, dude, I'm telling you, like, we found so many jewel movies when we were doing that. Wasn't that uh, the Teddy Roosevelt one? FDR American Badass. Did you ever watch it? No. Dude, I feel like I should. The first 30 to 40 minutes might be the funniest movie you've ever seen in your life. I'm down. It does fall off, but trust me. Oh, not FDR American (laughs) Badass. (laughs) You jest. (laughs) That and uh, dude, we we stumbled across Pootie Tang that way. Pootie Tang is not a bad movie, though. According to ratings, it is a one and a half. Well, we already established IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes sucks. Fair, but I'm saying that's how we found them. All right. So your number one guilty pleasure. My number one guilty pleasure, and it's something I'm terrible, terribly guilty of. And I say, I say I don't love it, but. You kind of have to to do it every single day. <laughs> Sevens. No, what? No. No, dude. You know me. <laughs> I'll do that. It's gross, dude. <laughs> <laughs> My number one, I got sleeping in when I'm already late. Okay. Hitting that snooze button, dude. Then you see you're late, like, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> So see, uh, that's a that's a segue off of my number seven, living on my own schedule. Problem is, 
I can kind of do what I want, but I, I, I don't, I try, I try not, I try to like stick to a, a routine. Yes. I try to stick to a good schedule, but in my defense, it don't matter what time I get there. I'm still going to get it done. Right. As long as your workers are okay with it, why the hell not? Right. And being that I kind of run the place, it's like, I can do what I want, but there you go. I should set an example. Now I work way later. Yeah. Well, you put your hours in and I get the work done, but it's still not the best. You know, I shouldn't do it. It's not good leadership. It's I shouldn't do it. And and it comes in spells. Sometimes I just naturally wake up early and I get up. But there's a lot of times where I go through spells of where like I just cannot get up in the morning and I'm not getting there at like 10. I, I still get there at like 8, 20, 8, Oh, dude, that's that's fine. I'm still getting there. Oh, your ass ain't rolling in at like 11 or 12. No, I'm still getting there at a decent. I'm still getting there before nine, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, eight 30, whatever, but it's still like, okay, I should get there at seven 30. Like I, and, and I wake up at six 45, seven and I just snooze six times not, and I don't even want to. Yeah. But for some reason, that's just how every morning works out. So okay. sleeping in or snoozing is my number one spot. That's a good one. It's it's dude, especially on the weekends. Again, there's like a parent out there, most likely a single mom that's listening to you right now, going, "Fuck this guy." Well, well I, mean, I can't sleep. In. I got a kid. Man, man, man. Well, why she's a single mom? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, but no, honestly, <laughs> on the weekends it hits so much harder because everything that I have intentions to get done on the weekends is something that I know I can get done on Monday or Tuesday. But I would right. I would prefer to go ahead and have it knocked out. So whenever, you know, I'm hung over or whatever, or just tired or like, you know, I just would like some extra rest on the weekend. It's like, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. It's like such a guilty pleasure of mine. It's just like, I'll do it later. The snooze button's your guilty pleasure. Yeah. And I, dude, honestly, I hate snoozing, but I love sleeping. Yeah. It's a delicate. I, I, love, I love sleeping. Delicate balance, dude. We know everybody who knows you knows that you love sleeping. I'm 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 Nap City. Hashtag Nap City. That's that's right, dude. You got to bring that shirt so we can hang it up. It's in my closet. I saw it today. I meant to grab it. We'll figure out somewhere to squeeze it in here. Right yeah. here, probably. Well, actually, we can just hang it right here. We don't want to cover up the boat, dude. No, we don't. All right. No, like right here. Right here is very visible. No, not when I sit down. Sit. When I sit down, I'll be right here. Or we can hang it up right here next to the. FDR. Oh, yeah. Speech. Yeah, it will fit over there. Perfect. Spot reserved. All right. So my number one. Oh, what is my, my, my phone? <laughs> my number one. Not me canceling plans. My guilty pleasure is somebody having canceled on me. Dude, I, I feel you on that, dude. Oh, man. Dude, I love when people cancel on me because then I had the, like, the high ground on them. I can like lay it on them. Like, I'm Call me a sadist for that, but I love using that against them. Dude, I just saw. <laughs> what? Saw who texted me. <laughs> is what it is. Anyway, is what it is. No, I, dude, I feel you. Dude, because also, like, I, I jam-pack my schedule so bad. Like, it's not a guilty pleasure. It's like a problem I have of, mm -hmm. like, I try to jam every possible thing I can into my schedule. Yeah. Like on top of all the things I have going on, it's like a problem. Yeah. So a guilty, like when somebody cancels something, it's like, oh, I have a few free moments. What am I going to do? Yeah. Like when somebody cancels on me, on, on the tab, like, I understand, man. All good. So but you're I'll, behind the, the scenes. I'm like, oh, yeah. And then I could bring it up later. Dude. So the pleasure you're getting is from being able to use that against them. That and the pleasure I also get. I'm, I, most 99 times out of 100, I didn't want to do the shit anyways. So. Right. So it's the free time would be the pleasure and the, yeah. And the guilt you can put on them. That's on, that's you. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like back in the day when a girl would push a date back. Oh, dude. That was king. Like when a girl would say, you're going to, well, as soon as I get that text, you're going to hate me. Dot, dot, dot. I was like, yes, let's go. Right, I, I get, I get time to myself all of a sudden. <laughs> yes. The, the books are open. Let's do, let's go out. Let's, let's go hit the bars. Okay. And I, then I could use it against her. Like we get an argument like, dude, I know you weren't about this life when you right. like push this date back. Right. Like, so I, so I have a, a moral high ground on them. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And that pick is very like you too. That would be your guilty pleasure. The it moral, is. Moral high ground part. Dude. I, there's, 
I wish I could have changed my number one just to say my guilty pleasure is having the moral high ground on in any, in any situation. <laughs> Dude, there is no. Oh, <laughs> It's like that meme I sent you on Instagram when you're arguing with somebody on Facebook and you find out they don't have custody of their oh, kids. Dude, <laughs> that <is laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> like I'm such an asshole in that sense. Like when I have the moral, when I feel morally superior to somebody, there's nothing they could say to me. Right. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. And I love having that in my back pocket. <laughs> I get what you're saying. Uh <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean, that's all. Yeah, well, it, it, the cancel plans thing, I feel you on And it's that, just a dude. bonus because, dude. Just I got, to have some free time. It's just like God open up the cloud and say, here's like three hours of your life. Yeah, have it back. Yeah. Yeah, nice. It's, it's perfect. Um, so, rundowns. Rundowns. We haven't decided in any way what we're going to do next week. But I feel like we got to do we got to do summer anthem soon. We're getting there. It's almost May. First week of May. Let's see. This is going to come out. Now, I know uh, next week's the NFL draft. Yeah, this will be the 28th. So Monday oh, will, Monday will be May. Yeah. So let's do summer anthems. Okay, summer anthems. And we'll fill the others out because I sent you a handful that we probably do need to do soon. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll work it So anyway, uh, rundowns. <clears throat> Guilty pleasures. My number 10 spot. I got dark chocolate or just chocolate in general. Nine, listen, wearing out a catchy song. Um, eight, watching hours of good, good golf matches I've already seen. Seven, uh, living on my own schedule in general. Six, building myself whatever I want. Five, treating myself way too often. Four, raising canes on a hun hungover Saturday morning. Three, house drinks. Two, uh, a couple cookies after dinner. And number one, sleeping in when I'm already late or just snoozing in general. All right. My number 10, watching Big Bang Theory. Nine, messing with strangers while I drive. Eight, giving, gifting gift cards I know don't work. Seven, Dude, that was <laughs> randomly powerbombing my kids. Six, guessing the price of an influencer's OnlyFans. Five, Twitter burner accounts. Four, seeing exes slash girls who heard me fail in life. Three, crop dusting students. Two, going to the movies by myself. And one, having plans canceled on me. Yeah, a lot of guilty places in there, dog. Yeah. So, yeah, come back Monday. Uh, but until then. All right. Peace. What's going on here, dude?